if you are muslim and you are willing to live in peace with your neighbors and you have no problem with people converting in both directions and you'd like to be allowed to have a mosque but by the way they can have a synagogue or a temple or a church i have no problem with with muslims who are prepared to live in diversity but if you are a muslim who believes you're going to impose sharia by cutting off my head i have a desire to kill you before you cut off my head all right ladies and gentlemen that was uh Newt Gingrich at the Iowa Freedom Summit, also going to be the subject of a Gimme Five later in the hour. Joining us now, Dr. Ben Carson, former chief of pediatric neurosurgery at John Hopkins Children's Center. Of course, you know him, you read him, best-selling author, columnist, and uh, he has a brand new book, ladies and gentlemen, You Have a Brain, A Teen's Guide to Think Big. Now, be sure to get your copy of uh, Dr. Carson's New York Times number one best-selling book, One Nation. Um, it's what we can all do to save America's future or go to Newsmax.com slash Ben to get your free copy. That's the other book. Okay, but the brand new one is aimed at teenagers. Again, it's called You Have a Brain, A Teen's Guide to Think Big. And doctor, welcome back, sir. Thank you. Good to be back with you. Now talk about this latest book. And, and I think this is so important because we know, we know that uh, the youth are our future. And unfortunately, uh, oftentimes the youth get the wrong message or no message at all. Absolutely. We have to get them to learn to think for themselves, to understand that the person who has the most to do with what happens to you in life is you, that you're not a victim. As long as you have a normal brain, you have the ability to extract information from the past and the present, process it, and project it into the future. You can take actions that will actually uh, control what's going to happen to you. And you, your, so, your, I'm sorry, your story is so compelling, how your life changed, how you're, you know, you, you were a troubled kid, of a, 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 to put it, you know, in one way, and your, your mom turned it around for you. Absolutely. And, and I would go so far as to say that, that someone who thinks the right way, you can put them in virtually any circumstance, and they will emerge victorious. And you can take somebody who thinks the wrong way and put them in any circumstance, and they will devolve into something bad. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations, and I'm sure uh, it's, uh, it's going to do a lot of good, and that's the main thing. Okay, uh, let, let's talk about uh, the, the events uh, over the weekend. Uh, we saw the horrific ISIS video, uh, first of all, with the, uh, with the 21 Coptic Christians in Libya slaughtered in cold blood at the river. Uh, and, and interesting here, Doctor, uh, in, in the video they talk about the Crusades. They talk about getting revenge for the Crusades, uh, uh, getting revenge for a woman, a Camellia they call her, who, uh, who was, uh, they say, was murdered or, or, or harassed for marrying. She was a Christian. She married a, a Muslim man. And you know, in that first burning uh, Jordanian video where they burned the pilot, they also talked about the Crusades. And what's sickening is that after that video, Obama talked about the Crusades. And now after Obama talked about it, here ISIS talked about it again. He's either regurgitating or giving them propaganda. And it's totally absurd. You know, uh, atrocities committed at any point in time in history against anybody are, are atrocities. That's exactly what they are. None of them excuse anything that's going to be done subsequently. And to even suggest that is absurd. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, you heard Newt Gingrich uh, talk about uh, really the war we're in. And uh, if you're a Muslim and you want to live in peace and you want to assimilate and share and, and, and be, uh, you know, all uh, encompassing, that's fine. But if you want to impose Sharia law and cut my head off, well, I'm going to kill you before you could do that. Why can't our president say that? Shouldn't he be saying that? Well, I would think he would. He, he should be standing up for America, for American values. You know, the, the prime minister of Australia a few years ago did that. He stood up and said, look. We're, we're not against anybody. Uh, certainly you can come to Australia to live, but if you're going to live here, you're going to live like we do. You're going to accept our values and our rules, and if you don't like them, you don't have to come here. <laughs> I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing. Uh, you know, nobody, they're not going to change all of their uh, values for us, and there is such a thing as American values. Yeah, absolutely. I, I want to get to a little politics here. Um, the Senate, the Senate, Senate and House Democrats are, are urging the White House to postpone the, the, the time uh, limit on signing up for Obamacare uh, uh, because a lot of people are going to, for the first time, face uh, 
tax repercussions. They're going to have to pay the tax for not having Obamacare, for not having health care. And so now the Democrats are panicking. And here would be another unilateral action by the president in changing the law. Do you, uh, what happens, do you think, if the president says, OK, you know, we'll, we'll, you don't have to pay the tax, or OK, well, we'll give you another six months to sign up. I mean, when does it end? It needs to end soon. You know, I, I got a call from someone yesterday, you know, who was quite a Obama supporter, and they were just horrified because they just got their new insurance uh, bills. And, uh, you know, their kids have to go on to Medicaid. They have to pay much larger amounts, uh, the parents, and they are just horrified. And, and these horror stories are coming up day after day because people didn't realize what was really in it. You know, Nancy Pelosi said you had to pass it to see what's in it. A lot of people still don't realize what's in it until it hits them. There's the other group of people who are getting benefits uh, bestowed upon them at other people's expenses, and they're as happy as a lark. But, you know, when it gets, you know, when we get to a point where we don't care what happens to our fellow Americans as long as we get ours, we're in trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the head of the FBI, uh, Mr. Comey, gave a speech the other day uh, and uh, among other things, he said that everyone is a little bit racist. Is that is that a true statement? Uh, I guess it would have to depend on how you define racist. Um, does everyone have innate biases because of the way that they were raised, uh, because of identification uh, politics? Uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me. But, you know, we have the ability as human beings with these big frontal lobes of ours to process information correctly. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons, for instance, that I don't talk about race very often, I mentioned this to an NPR reporter who asked me, I said, it's because I'm a neurosurgeon. And, you know, when I take someone to the operating room and I cut their head open, I'm operating on a thing that makes that person who they are. Right. The skin doesn't make them who they right. are. The hair doesn't make them who they are. The nose doesn't make them who they are. Why do people have to be so superficial? So innate, innate, innate biases, but not necessarily uh, innate racism. They don't have to control you. Right. They don't have to control you. You have the ability to control. Uh, you're running? When are you going to decide? Uh, I will have made a decision uh, by the first week in May. The first week in May. We look forward so to it, Doctor. Always oh. great to. Are you, are you leaning one way or another? Uh, I am uh, certainly uh, talking to a lot of people, putting together uh, infrastructure, I and uh, if, if, if I declare in May, we will be up and ready to go. Dr. Ben Carson, thank you, sir. Always a pleasure. We're coming back, folks.